we have a graphic that we'd like to show us again, <laughs> which is the types of services specifically. So let's walk through this graphic together. Okay. Uh, skilled nursing, what does that particularly mean? I mean, we talked a little bit about it, but let's just give it a couple more uh, minutes if we can. Sure, so skilled nursing could be anything from um, teaching uh, medication, mm -hmm. it could be uh, an injectable, it could be administering an actual um, IV therapy, it could be um, going over signs and symptoms, education. Right. We do a full gamut of making sure that you're safe at home, right. that you have the things that you need. A home survey, I think, is a very useful tool as a primary care physician as well, to have that feedback. Yes. Of course, the, the physician in the office or the physician in the hospital isn't necessarily aware of your home structure. Uh, is it a one-story house? Is it a two-story house? Uh, are there dogs? What is the fall risk? Those, that kind of information is often provided to and us, that's correct? A, yes, that's a great point. I, that is basically what we do on the first visit. The first We're visit. assessing the safety of that patient. So we want to make sure when we go out to your home that if there's area rugs that could be a trip hazard, that we're going to educate you and we're going to tell you perhaps that this area rug shouldn't be here so that we don't have uh, the potential risk of you falling. Mm -hmm. um, we'll look to see if you have fire extinguishers. It doesn't mean necessarily that everybody has to go out and get things, but we want your safety to be number one. Exactly. And we want to make sure that your medications, you have enough of a 30-day supply. We are in hurricane season, and it's important that you have the medication that you need so that if uh, the weatherman tells us, you know, a hurricane is coming our way next week, you're prepared. Correct. And those are things that our nurses right. take care of. We actually, let's bring that graphic back up if we can and continue to go down the list there. Uh, occupational therapy, speech therapy, uh, these are more, again, uh, diag diagnosis specific. That's correct. And Dr. Torres, just to, to kind of point out, it might not necessarily be that they had a surgery for occupational therapy, meaning that, um, their upper body. Correct. Because uh, that's the conception or the misconception is right. that OT is just for upper body. Mm -hmm. Activities of daily living, brushing your teeth, right. eating, um, things of that nature. If you've been in a hospital bed for several days, you may mm -hmm. have some residual weakness. So mm -hmm. we're there to help you out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's important that you are going to want to brush your teeth mm -hmm. um, and get back to those, those days. So occupational therapy helps a lot with that.